Okay, hear me out, you guys. I just remembered that I had this on my hard drive, and I just have to get this out there as soon as possible, because you are not gonna freaking believe this. This is Unearthed Trail of Ibn Battuta. A, pretty much a ripoff of Uncharted made in Saudi Arabia. Yes, this is pretty much the pinnacle of the Saudi Arabian gaming industry. So prepare to laugh. I suggest you already start putting on diapers in case you wet yourself. Anyway, yeah, because it's made in Saudi Arabia, of course, all the main characters are going to be Muslims. Basically going to be a big-ass propaganda piece, I'm guessing. A journey through generations. Oh boy, are we getting excited yet of a great nation's memory. Um, opinions differ on that part. And we saw that already. For some reason they feel the need to show you the logo twice. Oh boy. So, are you ready? We start out at some sort of dentist's office. Uh, actually, it looks more like an, an office building or something. And holy shit, that text is small, I can't even read it. Some secrets are worth adventuring for, or so they say. Looking at where this one got me so far, I have my own take on the subject. My name is Forrest Jawad, and now, I will put an end to all this. By blowing your brains out? So yeah, kinda like Uncharted 2, the story starts in medias res which is fancy Latin for in the middle of the story. Like in Uncharted 2, Drake wakes up on that train hanging off the cliff. Kinda like that. And yeah, despite this being a PS3 game made in, I believe, 2012 or 2013 actually, maybe, either one of those, somehow it manages to look exactly like what Uncharted would look like if it was a launch title for the PlayStation 2. So, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Shooting mechanics are obviously there. It's like a third-person shooter-ish. Walking over dead bodies is a big problem. Big-ass hurdle to cross. Oh shit, there's a guy there. And for some reason, Forrest Jawad walks like he shit his pants. Why is he... I guess maybe that's why he's clutching his shoulder or something? Apparently that arm has been hurt, but he can still lift and shoot guns with that arm. So I'm not exactly sure what's up with... Oh, there's that guy who's shooting at me. Nope, I'm trying to aim around the corner at that... Okay, what? Well, apparently I cannot aim around the corner from this angle, so... Oh, now I can. Alright. Oh, this shows promise already. Okay, you can swap cover like that. It's... Oh, it's so good. Apparently some cleanup lady for left her stuff here. I guess, oh, oh shit, it's a shootout. Have to get out of here. Ditch the cleaning supplies. Probably gonna need those anyway to wipe the blood out of the carpets. Because look at these fancy carpets. Blood will be very tricky to get. Oh shit, another guy. And dead. Oh, it just drops dead. Oh, and another one. Pump him full of lead. Jeez, freaking Forrest is a one-man army. Oh boy, checkpoint, what's gonna happen? Oh shit, it's a guy! And, get ready for this, it's Mortal Kombat! <laughs> oh man, what the hell were they thinking? Look at this, for crying out loud. Oh look, kick moves, oh shit, I'm losing. Stop blocking, you pansy. Where's the throw button? Oh man. Oh, it not only is it the worst third-person shooter I've ever played, it's also the worst fighting game I've ever played. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. Oh, something's flashing square. Must press square. Come on. Why is it not... Is my timing off or... Well... Fatality. Forrest wins. Well, that was, uh... Something. Hold on, Donia. I'm going to get you out of here. Because he's not only a master gunman, he's also a master freaking martial artist. And he struggles opening a simple door. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I'm guessing these are the villains? Oh shit. Now what would you do if you were me? Probably stop playing this and demand my money back, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. 
Oh boy, oh boy. So, what do we get now? Three weeks ago. Why the hell do they feel the need to subtitle that? Why? What's the point of that? It's like, oh, it's in the middle of the screen with big-ass letters, but that's not clear enough. Let's put it at the bottom in smaller letters. Totally gonna help. But yeah, three weeks ago, apparently they were in the desert, I'm guessing in Egypt, because those are either the pyramids or mountains that look suspiciously like the pyramids. Of course, they just took their Range Rover and drove it out here. Because I'm guessing they don't have too many roads over there in the Middle East slash Northern Africa. Alright, what are they going to do? So, this is Amos' temple. Yep, that's the one. 3,560 years of history in this place. You have to be careful and watch your steps in there. My steps? You mean you're not coming in with me? <laughs> of course not, Faris. For starters, you were the one who always enjoyed raiding tombs and uncharting mysteries in video games. Now you get to do it yourself. Besides, we need someone on the outside to go call for help in case something happens to you. Oh, okay. So you were telling me that actual consideration for my well-being went into planning this thing. Good to know someone will come and extract my body in case the quick load button doesn't work. Relax. As your elder sister, I have always been taking care of you like a baby. Well, except for when you were terribly annoying, of course. But still, I will be monitoring your movement inside the temple and guide your way through. I will be the voice in your head. Nice. A threat and an assurance, all wrapped into one. Remind me again, Dania, what am I risking my life for? Your life and my precious time. This is the final resting place for Amos, son of Abana, who led the Egyptian army to get the Hexus out of Egypt in 1525 BC. As gratitude, the Pharaoh ordered the construction of this temple to honor him, and Amos chose a location overlooking his hometown of Nekeb. Quite a view indeed. But what's so special about it? I'm sure the grave robbers picked it clean ages ago. They picked what they thought was valuable. Amos acquired two golden daggers from one of his battles with the Hexus. He got so attached to them that he kept them in the tomb and made them into unlocking mechanisms. Some sort of keys for... Something of greater value, I presume? Exactly! An award he got for his courage called the Gold of Valor. It's a necklace with three pendants in the shape of flies, made up of about half a pound of gold, making it one of the most valuable military decorations as well as the most ancient. I'm sure it's going to be a major breakthrough in archaeology, and it's going to be attributed to us! I like your collective team spirit. Let's see where this takes us. But be careful. The deeper you go in, the weaker the signal gets. No worries. I have my handy sidearm just in case a mummy decides to wake up for lunch or something. Here we go. Oh my god, whoever wrote the dialogue and made the facial animations deserve to be dragged out into the street and shot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why aren't they even looking at each other when they're talking to each other? That's what normal people do. And why don't they blink? Creeps me the fuck out. What secrets does this place hide? Wow. You gotta see this, don't ya? What is it? Well, I could tell you. But I won't. Tell me! Only risk takers get to see such beauty. Okay, these two are definitely no Drake and Elena. Oh boy, oh boy. Worst brother-sister relation I have ever seen in a video game. Then again, I'm guessing that the script was written in, I don't know, Arabic or something, and they had to do a shitty English translation because, come on, made in Saudi Arabia. So I'm guessing that I'm supposed to go inside. So let's do that. This ancient fountain might be the key to progress. You mean progress? Progress is something completely different. Maybe if I can get the water flowing again somehow. That might help. Gotta love how he pretty much just tells you what to do. I mean, most games use the obvious camera or the obvious arrow for that. Maybe if you climb up, that might help. How does she even know what I'm doing? Like, what, we're communicating through a headset. It's not like Forrest has a tracking device in his backpack or something. I'm guessing. Or a camera. If he did, they probably would have made a point of it to at least tell that. Anyway, what have we here? It's, oh shit. 
No, no, no. Damn it. Must. Okay, better try it again then. So yeah, are you seeing the similarities with Uncharted already? Except where Uncharted did everything right, they're kind of doing everything wrong. Oh yeah, also can't believe I'm only touching upon this now, but during the cuts, you know, they reference Tomb Raider, they reference Uncharted. It's like, hey, we're ripping these things off and we're blatantly letting you know it. So I found this thing. And what do I do with it? I don't know, that's just taking cover. Why the hell would I need to take cover? There's no enemies in here whatsoever. Uh, I'm confused. We need to find a way to unlock this huge gate. There must be a way to do that. Look around carefully. Well, there's not really that much to explore. Oh no, that's just the cover button again. Why the hell do they keep telling me to take cover when there's no need for me to take cover? Also, can I... The camera moves so slow. Upping the sensitivity a little. Much better. Still not all that amazing, but better. Okay, so I'm guessing there's something near the door then. Can't climb up there. Apparently there's nothing for him to grab hold of. Dark as fuck in here as well. That's not helping. Can I maybe pick up one of these torches? And walk around with them? I would guess not. No prompts near the door or something either. Delightful. Um, Alright, I believe I've explored pretty much every square inch of this place. Oh wait, what's up there? I'm pretty sure those tarps aren't like 3,000 years old. Or whatever the hell they're supposed to be. So... Someone has apparently been in the temple, at least recently, I'm guessing. Okay, can't do anything with that. What the hell do they want me to do here? No. Oh, what was that? Did I see a prompt near that vase? Or jar, or whatever the hell it's supposed to be? Can't jump up there. Invisible walls everywhere. Hmm. Yeah. Do I have to, like, bring something down by shooting it? Honestly, game, I would love a hint right now. Or at least something. I mean, hell, I'm pretty sure Uncharted does that. When you're taking too long on a particular puzzle or segment, it just kind of tells you what you're supposed to be doing. That would definitely come in handy right now. So, yeah, they didn't even rip that off properly. Oh, look, you can do barrel rolls. Or... Oh, what do we have here? Triangle. Put that thing in there. Ah, so that's how you get the water flowing. Gotta love how they made mechanisms like that 1500 years before Christ. Okay, so I have to find three more of those and I have no clue where. Oh, this is gonna suck. And yet they still give you the prompt for putting the thing in even though you don't have the thing with you. Maybe outside? Seems kind of weird. Why the hell would they be hiding those things outside? And where? Because there's really not all that much to look for here. Wait, what was that near the... Ah, so you can break the jars. So maybe that's what I have to do with the one that I found in the corner over there. I'm guessing that there's another one of those things in there, maybe. Kick it, and I see something shiny. Come on. That. Nice. Yep, that's another one. Alright, two down, two to go. Oh boy, I'm loving this already. Slap that in. Well, I guess the water doesn't look half bad. Okay, two more. Then again, well, wait, I, I'm just seeing it flowing out of the fountain. I take back those words but there's no more jars in here to crack so I don't think we can go up there I would have been I would have done that already because I've climbed up there twice so I'm guessing the other two definitely have to be outside somewhere okay I'm, this is really starting to piss me off I'm just gonna 
look it up on the internet if anyone's done any coverage of this game anywhere. And then we'll find the other two in the next episode of Unearthed, Trail of Ibn Battuta. Bye-bye.